guys, I'm so excited for today's video, which I always am, but I'm also just more excited on days where I know I'll be playing with some very, very beautiful special shimmer shadows. And that is definitely part of what this video is going to be because Sugar Drizzle has come out with a new palette. And if you're new to my channel or you just haven't watched the other videos that I've done with this brand, um, Sugar Drizzle is a brand that I started using last year when they first sent me their Flamingo palette. And so this was their holiday release. And here's what the palette looks like. This palette is so beautiful. Now, this brand has been around for for quite some time. I just never really got into it because I just, I, I thought I was stupid and I was like, I don't need any more special shadows. I don't need any more shimmer shadows. I have everything I need. Listen, I was wrong <laughs> because they have some amazing shadows and they have also come out with some all shimmer palettes, which I do not own, which I'm honestly tempted to pick up, but I really don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> but just trust me when I say that their shimmers are spectacular and I'm so excited to be using today's palette. But I thought I would just show you the other two palettes that I had before uh, we get into it just so you can kind of know what we're getting into here. So this is the last palette they came out with. This is the butterfly palette and this palette as well. Absolutely stunning. I have videos with both of these and I will link those in the corner if you want to check them out. But the shimmer formula from this brand is amazing and they also have multi-chromes in their palette so this palette had two multi-chromes in it and the newest palette which is called the dragonfly warrior palette also has two multi-chromes in it and i think that for being a brand who puts in multi-chromes in their palettes and the multi-chromes are actually really nice these prices are extremely affordable so i think this retails for 31 dollars. let me just double check that so i have the pricing right and this launches on the 26th of february uh, this palette is going to be $31.95. So $31.95 for a palette with two multichromes in it. Both of these two are black based multichromes. It's, you can't really see it that well in the swatches just because I suck at showing off multichromes. I'm going to say this every time I use a multichrome, but go check out Millie's channel. <laughs> I will link her down below. Uh, bad to the brow. Uh, she always uh, showcases multichromes like this beautifully. And I'm pretty sure that she's gotten this in PR. She may even have a video up on this already. I am so out of the loop because I haven't been home for the past like five days or so. I just got back from a little trip. So I haven't been watching too much YouTube, but if you want to see someone else use this palette, definitely go subscribe to her if you haven't already, because I'm sure she's going to do some beautiful looks. But I am really excited because I feel like this color story is not, it's not like anything else that I've ever seen. And it makes me really want to just play and experiment and do something different. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Now, what exactly is that going to be? I'm not completely sure yet, but I want to use a lot of the shades in this palette, maybe even all of them. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, but I do think because I do have two black based multichromes in here and there is a matte black in here, I'm thinking I want to use the black as sort of a base for these multichromes and then do, not sure exactly what in the crease, but we're going to just play and I'm excited. So I'm just going to start by priming my eyes like I always do. I think I have a code with this brand. I will have it on the screen if I do. I'm pretty sure I do. And it's probably just Annette. Uh, and it will save you 10% off. But I'm going to go ahead and use my Natasha Nona eyeshadow base as my primer. And I'm thinking I want to do like a big black wing with a couple of shadows in the crease or something like that. And just like really play with all of these shimmers and see how many of them I'm able to jam on my eyes. Because today is just one of those days where I really feel like... I don't know, taking my time and just trying out a lot of these. Sometimes I just want to do like a normal eyeshadow look and not be too fussed about what exactly I'm doing. And I don't want to have to think about it too much or be too precise. But today I think I want to at least try to put a lot of these on my eyes because I just think that the color story is so unique. And the fact that there are only three mattes in here, one being a matte black and the other two being a yellow and a green, like I have never seen that. And I'm just very intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what can come out of this and just what this palette can do because I feel like you can do so many cool looks with this and it's going to be one of those palettes where if you see someone wearing a look from this palette, you're going to know it's from this palette, you know? And I like palettes like that because it's very hard to come up with something that's super unique these days. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, pro I mean, probably these two mattes sort of in my crease and then do the black as my sort of wing and base for the multi-chromes type thing. Is that what I want to do? <gasps> I'm really not sure what I want to do, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with the, let's start with the yellow and use that like in the front portion of the crease. I'm going to switch to another brush here. I hope this is clean. Usually I'll, I'll spot clean my brushes and then put them back in the holder, but sometimes 
I'm lazy and I put them back before doing that. And since this is like a, a black brush, it's hard to see if it's really clean or not. Did I say I was going to use the yellow or the green? I think the yellow. We're going to go with the yellow. <laughs> this one is called Strong. So let's see how that performs. I'm going to start just by packing that in the front portion of my crease, basically like halfway or so across. And that looks very nice and pigmented. It's showing up really nicely. I do have to kind of pack it on to make sure I get all the pigment that I want, but that is what I usually do with these colors anyway. So I'm just taking this into my crease as well as about like halfway, two thirds of the way out, I am going to blend it into the green. So I don't mind if it goes a little far. That looks so nice. Mm, I love a good yellow eyeshadow and I don't have a lot of them and it's not something that I use often enough, but I really should because I think it's such a cool eyeshadow color and not enough brands put yellow in their palettes and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just not that popular. Yeah, this is looking extremely nice and pigmented. Next, I'm gonna go into the green shade, which is called BU. I'm just taking the same brush. I'm just wiping it off in between. And I'm basically just gonna, again, just pack this on quite heavily and see how pigmented I'm able to get this. So I feel like this shade is not as pigmented as the yellow is. Uh, let's see how it builds though, because I do want this to be nice and green, but I might not be able to get it as green as I maybe want this to be, but let me just take my time with this and see what happens. So I'll admit this is not my favorite green eyeshadow and I've said this before, but Sugar Drizzle doesn't have my favorite mattes, but I know they are working on improving them. So I'm still happy that they are putting mattes into their palettes because if they can really nail their matte formula and have that go with these amazing shimmers, like that's gonna be literally perfection. So I'm excited to keep playing with their formula and see what they can really do. I mean, this is fine, but it's not, it's not super pigmented and I don't feel like I get to really build it up to be nice and, and rich. It's almost like it has a bit of a, a sheerness to it, if you know what I mean. Like it's not super opaque and super, it's not that it's not pigmented, but I just feel like it's sort of a, a thinner formula, which don't get me wrong, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but that is just not my kind of favorite to work with. But I do think that this is looking quite nice now. So what do I wanna do next? Do I just wanna go straight in with the black? Is that really what I wanna do? What do I wanna do under my eye? I kinda of just wanna do like maybe some shimmers under my eye. Let me take a little bit of the, the green though, just like on the outer portion of my lower lash line just to connect this a little bit. You can probably see here that it's not showing up as well underneath my eye as it is in my crease because I obviously don't have a sticky eyeshadow primer down, which that tends to be the case with most shadows, but it also can be an indication of just how a shadow is going to perform when layering it over other shadows. And if it doesn't stick on a set base, it's probably not going to layer very nicely as a second shade over something else either. But I do think that looks quite nice. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this black gel. I think my cat just knocked something over. <laughs> uh, what's new? Anyway, I'm gonna take this black uh, gel liner from Ofra. I haven't used this yet, but I think that using a gel liner for this is probably my favorite way of doing like a big wing liner because I feel like I have, I don't know if I have more control, but it's easier to like kind of fill it in. So I'm just gonna use this as my kind of big hooded eye wing technique. I'm just gonna use that from the outer corner of my eye with my eye open. I'm just gonna create that wing shape that I want here. And then I'm just gonna connect it to the hood of my eye. It's a little bit hard to explain how I'm doing this, but I think you can kind of see where I'm going with this. And then I'm just gonna fill in the triangle part on the outer corner here. That's gonna look kind of crazy when my uh, when I look down, like you can see, it's basically just like a triangle now. And then I'm just gonna connect it to my lid. And I'm gonna start filling this in on my lid as well. Just gonna do it on the outer corner first, but I am going to use that black eyeshadow probably on the rest of my lid. I could easily use this eyeliner just all over, but I think that just because there is a black eyeshadow in the palette, I'm gonna use the shadow just so I can really test it out. Just gonna take that on my refer 13 and I'm first going to 
put this all over my lid and then I think I'm probably gonna blend it into my crease a little bit as well but I really want most of my lid to be like those multi-chromes and I want to blend the multi-chromes into my crease more than anything but I want to use this as a base for the multi-chrome so I'm not gonna take this up too high because I do want to make sure that I can kind of blend those shimmers into my crease instead because it's probably gonna create a little bit of a better blend even though I'm gonna blend it just a little bit and this is a really 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 nice black it's layering super well on my lid as you can see it's nice and intense and nice and smooth so this is gonna work perfectly as a base for those multi-chromes maybe I will just sort of blend this into my crease as well because this is actually doing exactly what it is that I wanted to do here and then we're just gonna go crazy with the shimmers and see see what happens. I think I just wanna do like shimmers underneath my eye as well, just so we can try a lot of them. So I think I'm starting to like how this looks. You can see there's a little bit of a shadow above the hood of my eye or just above my eye when my eye is open and that's exactly what it is that I wanted. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same on this eye and then we can use some of these shimmers. So now for the fun part, I am going to put down some glitter primer first because I do want to make sure that this has a bit of a tacky base since I did put a powder all over my lid. But if you use a eyeliner, like a gel liner or something like that, you don't need to do this step because it's probably going to be a little bit tacky. But I'm just going to pat the NYX glitter primer all over where I put down the black. And then we're going to use the black base multi-chromes. I'm not going to pull them all the way into my wing. I'm going to keep them mostly just like on my lid. So I think the ones that I want to use are going to be these two. So I'm going to start with the blue one up here. This one is called Fierce. And I'm going to do that on the outer portion of, wow, that is so pretty, of my lid here, as well as really blend it into my crease so that you can't really see much of that black. But that looks so beautiful. I'm gonna blend it into my wing, but not put it all the way over my wing because I do want the outer portion of my wing to still be black. But this is layering so well over that black base. Using black base multi-chromes over black is really going to make them pop and I love doing it. It's not something that I do often enough because sometimes with like, you know, using a lot of blacks, you gotta be kind of careful and it takes a little bit longer than I would if you kind of skip that step, but it always just ends up looking so good. I'm not sure if you can really see the shift in this. Let's try the mirror thing. Yeah, you can absolutely see a very strong purple shift in that. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so with my other side of my brush, I'm gonna go into the shade called Selfless, which is the green to kind of blue shade. I'm not sure how these are going to work together, but there is only one way to find out and that is to put them together. So that's so what we're gonna go ahead and do. So my camera shut off, I'm not sure exactly where I was, but I was saying that I felt like when I swatched the shade, this one was a little bit less metallic and the shift wasn't as strong. And it also had a bit more of a black base to it, it felt like, uh, than the other shade that I just put down. But this is looking really, really nice. I love this color combination. I think this is very, very fun. And I'm definitely gonna do like a pop of something in my inner corner as well as probably one or two shimmers on my eye as well just so we can play with a lot of these and i already know that i'm not using the shimmers in this palette that would be my favorite if i could like choose to only use my favorite shades because i don't think that these multi combs would beat out some of these other shades because there are some shades in this palette that are that amazing foiled wet looking formula that you guys know i absolutely love like the pinka berry shade in the flamingo palette like, I cannot get enough of that shade still. It's so pretty. And there are, like I said, some of those shades in this palette as well, but I'm not using them right now because I really just wanted to do this color combination and sort of test out these multichromes. But let's see, which one is it? I think it's the shade called Warrior. This one up here is that shade that I just... Oh, look how glass looking that is. It's so beautiful. And then this one down here as well. Like, these two are my favorite kind of shimmer formula ever. So... Yeah, I'm not using those all over my lid, but I know if I did, I would love them. So maybe I will use those under my eye because why not, right? So <laughs> maybe that's what I'll do. I'm going to start with, maybe I'll use a little bit of, hmm. <laughs> now I'm like, what am I, what am I doing? <laughs> 
I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the shade Cold Warrior. I don't know if this is gonna look good or not. I might end up looking kind of crazy, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna spray this if I can find, do I have any Fix Plus left? I do, it's right in front of me. I'm gonna spray this a little bit here, not too much, just so that it is a little bit wet. And then I'm gonna put that in the middle of my lower lash line. I don't really like having shimmers like all the way out, but I don't mind having it on most of my lower lash line because I do like having some sheen there. I do wish that the green was a little bit more pigmented, just like the matte green that I have here because I can't really see it that well, but that's okay. The shimmers are definitely going to be the star of the show in this look anyway. Like I'm not doing this shade any justice by putting it under my eye. I'm fully aware of that, but I still just really wanted to use it and I can tell it's absolutely stunning and a shade that I'm gonna wanna use so often. So I think for the front portion of my lid, I'm gonna use, I'm thinking I wanna use the green and then I can do the yellow in my inner corner or I could do the opposite. Maybe I'll use this shade like a little bit on my lid as well. So I'm gonna take a shade here called Spirit and I'm gonna spray this one a little bit as well and I'm gonna take that on just a very front portion of my lid. So this one has a bit of a, a pink shift to it, which I don't know how that's gonna look, but we're here, so we're trying it. It's a beautiful shade. Like I said, not sure how that's really going with the rest of this, but I just wanna test out a lot of shadows in this palette just to see how they perform. This is such a cool shade. I know I'm covering up most of that green, but honestly, I don't care. This color combo all of a sudden turned very strange, but I'm not mad at it. <laughs> to finish off, I'm gonna take the shade called Fly Baby Fly, which is this beautiful, very light yellow shimmer, which I don't know if I have anything similar in my collection. And I'm just gonna take that on the very, wow, that's beautiful, front portion of my lower lash line. Maybe I could've, could've reversed these two colors that I just used, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put that right here. This is so pretty, I really like that. I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that green multi-chrome and I'm just gonna make sure that I kind of bring this back a bit because I feel like I covered a lot of it. So I'm just gonna make sure that I feel like the ratios between the shimmers are what I want them to be just so that you can see all of them. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off because this is basically all the shadows that I'm going to use. So I will be right back with the final look. Okay, so here's basically how I finished off. Um, I did put some turquoise in my waterline just because I felt like I wanted something that was similar to sort of the shades that I had underneath my eye, but I didn't want to go with green. I just, I wasn't feeling green, so I did turquoise. This is Zulu from ColourPop. I think I like that choice. And I also used a little bit of the greens from the Blends Bunny palette because I just felt like they, the one from Sugar Drizzle just weren't doing it for me. Like it just wasn't sticking right here. So I mixed basically these two colors just right on the outer portion here. And I feel like it really made it pop. And these are just so intense. If you're looking for nice greens, if you're looking for nice rainbow colors in general, this is the right palette. And this palette paired with any of these other shimmers from Sugar Drizzle is literally perfection. So like, I, I cannot believe how much I've been reaching for this palette. Like this is possibly my favorite palette of all time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I said it. <laughs> I think it's just amazing and it just goes so well with all of the beautiful shimmers that I absolutely love and I just I cannot get enough of it I use it so often I even brought it on a trip that I was just on and it's just spectacular it's fantastic uh my lip today is from where did I put that where do I put anything this is from Udensai it's in the shade sweet tulip it's one of their cream lip stains my blush today is one that I've had in my collection for quite some time I showed this in a haul a very long time ago and this is from house labs it's one of their sort of new collection blushes and I got it. I think this is beautiful. I'm gonna put on a little bit more, but the formula on this is, it's not super pigmented, but it's a little bit glowy, but not so glowy that it like looks like a highlighter. It just looks really, really, really nice on the skin and you cannot mess this up. Like it's not, like I said, super pigmented, but you can absolutely see it and it looks so nice. And the formula is just honestly, one of the best blush formulas that I've tried in a long time. Like this is amazing. Uh, this is in the shade Bellini and I love it. I think it looks beautiful. My highlighter today is from Bitter Lace Beauty. It's in the shade Electric, which is the 
favorite yellow highlighter that I have in my collection. I use it all the time. I'm just obsessed with it. Um, let's see, the palette. I think, I love this palette so far. I mean, I think the shimmers in this are so fun. Like, I, I think this whole color story is so fun. The whole idea behind this palette is so fun. I've never seen a color story like this before. I think the shimmers individually are beautiful. You can definitely see a shift in the multi-chrome shadows and the other shimmers are amazing. I cannot wait to use this palette more and just focus on like one or two of them at a time because I feel like trying to jam them all onto my eyes like this, you cannot really see the full potential of these shadows doing it this way, but I just wanted to test out a lot of them. The mattes on the other hand, the black was really nice. Uh, the yellow was nice. The green, definitely not my favorite. I just don't think that uh, Sugar Drizzle is there quite yet with their mattes, but that's totally okay. They're working on it and I think that with time, they're going to really nail it. I'm actually gonna take just a little bit more of that yellow, just because I think it could be fun to just sort of pull this up a little bit more, just in the front portion of my my crease here, just to, I don't know. I just kind of feel like doing it. <laughs> I just want this yellow to be a little bit more, just like in the spotlight, just right here. Just gonna kind of flick it into my brow. I know this is not for everyone, but yeah, I think that made a pretty big difference and it just brings up a little bit more of that yellow because I do want this to really show. But yeah, I think the yellow is really, really nice. If you're looking for a nice yellow matte in your collection, this is definitely one to add. Or if you just want to get this palette for the shimmers, I can't say I blame you because that is totally what I will do. The black is really nice as well. So that's going to be my thoughts. I... I love this palette. I cannot wait to use it more. I think it is beautiful. Thank you, Sugar Drizzle, for sending it my way. Thank you to you guys for watching, as always. I will make a Sugar Drizzle playlist and put that up on my screen because I am probably going to have more videos coming. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.